Hello everybody, welcome back to more For the King. I'm joined with my best friends, Rhapsody and Orbital Potato. How are you doing? Rhapsody, I'm gonna direct this. Rhapsody, how are you doing? That's that's a lovely way to direct it. No, number one, thank you for recognizing my privacy in this situation. <laughs> number two, I'm I'm just honored. I, that's such a heartfelt declaration of best friendship. <laughs> I, I just wanted to inform you right now. I have no other friends. Orbital Potato, how are you doing today? <laughs> I, I, I was, what a meteoric rise it has been to, to the best friendship position in your life. I feel honored, truly honored. It's but not that well. big of an honor. I, I am not a, I'm not that great of a public figure, but I am an e-celebrity, as we all are on this fine day. <laughs> e-celebrity. <laughs> but but e Orbital uh, has... <laughs> Orbital has reams to say about that. Yeah, yeah, I do. I have a lot of I have a lot of stuff to say about that. But first of all, I want to pick apart why e celebrity is even a term in the <laughs> English language. It's horrendous. To to contrast it against all of the twenty five other types of celebrity. Yeah. What's the best celebrity right now? That's what I was gonna say. I I. I... Yeah. Don't even feel comfortable qualifying myself as a Z-list celebrity. I feel like that is too much credit. <laughs> I feel like that is too much credit. <laughs> but there's no, nothing I, I'm lower. assuming that we only go from A to Z. Yeah, that's the that's the thing. I assume that that's the bottom, and I don't even feel like it's appropriate. Anywho, it's it's my turn. Should I go into the camp, or are you gonna die, Rhapsody? Oh no, we, we'll be fine. We are over leveling them ridiculously. I, Let's okay. Go. Right, let's hold on, hold on. Let's I, just get something straight about this scale, this celebrity scale, right? Okay. Right. right so, so A-listers, like, can we? Let's like roll down the, roll down the letters, right? So an A-list celebrity, is is what? Like, we're talking like big time actors, like leaders of nations, that sort of stuff, right? Household names, yeah. Household names, right? Like Brad Pitt, Angelina Jolie, stuff like that, yeah. right? All right. So, what is a B-list then? Rhapsody. Oh. <laughs> Rhapsody. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm okay. assuming that's you directing it towards me to answer. Um, <laughs> no, a no. a B-list celebrity, in my mind, is someone who you look at and go, I that guy. But you don't necessarily immediately recognize their name. Like Bruce Campbell, who, who? you know. Bruce Campbell? <laughs> and that's why he's you not know, an A-list. The Evil Dead trilogy? Hmm. <laughs> Rings a bell, but I couldn't place my finger on it, truthfully. And I feel like that's the exact definition of a B-list celebrity. One person thinks it's uh, obvious yeah. as hell, and one person is like, I can't quite place my finger on it, but I do know them. Yeah. I think that's yeah. B. B-rank. It's... I feel like a B-list celebrity is someone who would come up in, like, a... a medium difficulty trivia game, right? <laughs> you know? Is that qualifying criteria? I feel yeah, that's fair. Fair to say. Extremely. So, okay, so A and B, very, very easy to define. In fact, yeah. wow, I would even say that A, B, C, and D are all quite easy to define, right? So let's let's move on to C. What classifies as a C-list celebrity? I feel like it might just go down to ratios at that point. Like, what ratio of people are like, I definitely know them versus I can't place my finger on it. I think it just goes in ratios. So I would, my... My my thoughts for who a, what a C-list celebrity is would be someone who starred in like a relatively new TV series that not many people watch, right? Yeah, mm. or like a or like a supporting character in a fairly popular show. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, so, okay, can I yeah. pitch my archetype for them off of that? Okay, absolutely. The actor for Davos Seaworth in Game of Thrones. Never seen it. Never seen it either. Are we gonna make oh, a lot of people God. mad by two thirds of the people here not never seen, <laughs> seen Game of Thrones? Everybody just tuned out. I love the Onion Knight. Onion Knight is my favorite character. I'm just gonna claim that for the people outside and then immediately drop the topic. I think we, okay. I think we lost half half the people watching here by just making such a bold claim as to not have seen. Game oh no, it's not halfway through the video yet. The retention doesn't drop below 50. Ooh. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> oh, hold on. Hey, guys, there's a friendly dolphin in the water. See that? Whoa! Abandon everything, go see that dolphin. I was actually uh, literally thinking exactly that. Can, uh, can we, we visit? 
We could. We would have to buy a ship from the Pleasant Port and then we'll sail it. off to it. Is there anything but... wrong with that idea? Dude, a I've dolphin. given you... Do it. I, all... oh, I was going to give you all my cash. Just in case you needed more to buy a boat. Uh, I mean, the boat doesn't okay, go bad. So... It doesn't expire, does it? As it turns out, I did need that to get a boat, but yep. I'm going to get a raft. A... You can get a, ra a raft? No? Yes. What? Did I say it wrong? Yeah, it's raft. It's not raft. <laughs> Sorry, you just... Yeah, yeah, you get in your little raft. I'm, I'm laughing you now because I know the gold. pronunciation thing will be shifted to me in the hot seat in like five minutes. That's just oh, well, have how I it goes. Ever told you? Have I ever told you what I do when people correct my pronunciation? Yeah, you practice it harder. You practice it more so you get it right the next time. No, I purposefully make my pronunciations worse to dissuade pedantry. Idiolects and dialects differ. So now I'm going to say Boat. <laughs> <laughs> Join me, friends, upon the Boat. <laughs> Want to max focus? Friendly dolphins can increase your focus? <laughs> It's not, I should not do this. I'm not. No! No, what happened? I'm you so just ran sorry. over that dolphin! I'm so sorry. Where'd the dolphin go? You just ran over the dolphin under, with our boat. Under the boat! Oh my goodness. Oh. I'm I, so sorry, no. team. Animal cruelty. I'm so sorry. Oh. oh. Okay. I've got to say that to I don't buy a rat this, to kill a I don't dolphin. Think this. this I don't think this boat is going to be very useful for us, I must say. <laughs> we abandon uh, everything to buy a boat to kill a dolphin? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Wow. Good lord, we're cruel. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh, sorry. You're still waiting for me. Oh, whoops. My bad. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. But in all seriousness, getting back to the actual topic that we all care about. So that's a exactly. C-lister. We've defined a C-lister. I'm going to take your word for it, um, Rhapsody, that, um, that 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 person that you mentioned, Mr. Onion or whatever from Game of Thrones, I'm going to accept your word for it that he is a C-lister. So now, yes. that takes us swiftly on to a D-lister. And I would like to pitch that a D-lister is someone who is starred as an extra in a film. Yeah, I, I guess that's the drop off. I mean... I guess that's, or maybe it's like a side character in an unknown show, like a very, yeah, like okay. a, or like I'll a, take that too. a very minor yeah, it, character in an old movie or something. It can't be a, uh, it can't be an extra because then where do you get to Z? That's exactly there. what I was about to say. Is how is, this is, you this need is to leave yourself room. You have like 20 more steps after that. See, this is the, this is the issue. Then right? maybe like, I okay. am a Z-lister. <laughs> well, exactly. That's my that's if my that's a D-lister. Right? Like, but I don't even I don't even think like okay I don't I don't think I don't think I mean this scale is like so completely meaningless that it doesn't even matter anyway. However, right. but I'm thinking like people who are you know like important in the community could also be classified as like celebrities. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Yeah. You know. So, you know, you've got people who, you know, people who are perhaps like, you know, local councilmen or, you know, people who are like the head teacher of the local school, right? Is is that like a, you know, are we talking like an F or a G, a G lister? Oh, God, no. No, 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 no. It depends. All right. So we need to define this. Is celebrity a spectrum? Are we saying that a Z list celebrity is someone who is not a celebrity. Maybe I am I was, a Z-list then. There we go. Then this, we can this, finally this arrive at me being a Z-list. A non-celebrity. I'm afraid we all agree that you're an E-list celebrity. Exactly. As you so generously often at the very start of the episode. You're an E-celeb. <laughs> I am an E-celeb. I forgot. I forgot. We all are E-celebrities on this fine day. Uh, I'm going to leave this one for someone else. Or I could just, like, power it. I got 85 percent if you leave it there it doesn't go away right I, or wait does it go it, away it i don't think it goes away <laughs> okay i mean it's a good call good dig hell yeah Ooh. 
It's a good so call. this is the glass rod. Uh, the glass items in this game are really, really, really powerful for the levels at which you can acquire them, uh, but they only roll once, and if you fail that roll, they break. And you can't focus them, right? You cannot focus them. That is uh, entirely correct, and thank you for reminding me of that. Wow. I'm good. I've got like nine Sorry, hours what? now. <laughs> right. right. I would like to, for the context of this conversation, define celebrity as how many people know who you are and what you do. Is that a fair, is that a fair, all agreeable definition yeah. of what yeah. a celebrity is? So is like a really friendly and talkative cashier at a grocery store a minor celebrity? Yes, absolutely. I like this fact. I'm going to tell See? them the next time so, I go to the grocery store that I think that they are a celebrity. Well, exactly. Well, you see, exactly. But only like the talkative ones, the people that you just forget, they're like, you know, they must be like NM celebrities, right? Whereas talkative cashiers, they must be like, you know, G celebrities. Wow. G is too high. G, no, G, no, no, no. G, I still a talkative think, cashier like, is a G list celebrity. Okay, well, like, what else? What else? What else would you say? I, mean, I guess like, I don't know. Okay, we've established we've established that extras are like E, right? Wait, real quick, I hate to talk about the game we're playing, but <laughs> what what is <clears> our goal too, right actually. here? <laughs> like, I see that there's so, the adventures home as a quest objective, and we are supposed to go to Parrot, but like, is mm -hmm. are we? Should I just be making my way to Parrot at this point, or is there so, something else we should explore before we do something like that? So in general, we'll be making our way towards Parad. Uh, I'm probably, like one of us should probably split off and pick up the Adventurer's Home while we're on our way there. Uh, but if any battles start to appear around the Parad area, in the Golden Plains, the call-in radius is actually a lot larger. So we can explore a little bit further away from one another before uh, we have to regroup in order to do battle. Okay. And then my second question is, if I land on the Desecrated Church, is that going to do anything, or can I like cancel and not do anything there? You, yeah, it's not going to do anything. Okay, okay, we've already okay. completed it. Because I'm going to go up that way then to just get a different path, I guess. Good, good idea. Sure. All right, back to not the game. Go ahead. There we go. Okay, thank goodness. Um, <laughs> yeah. Also, so if we G list, can I give you what I think G list is? Because I don't think E list is extras. I think extras are even further down. I think okay. G list is like like the drummer for your favorite local band i would say i would say that someone who is a drummer in a local band has just as much contact with people as like a head teacher or mm -hmm. a or a or a or a friendly cashier <laughs> you know someone making conversation orbital or uh, a local police I... officer Something like that, you know? Could I please have all of your money so that I can go to the night market? <laughs> That's... You make a compelling argument. <laughs> Thank um, you, Overflow. That sounds yeah, like a very welcome. irresponsible. It sounds like it's you're going to go gamble all his money away at the night market. Oh, who says I'm not? I'm going to try and find something that's worth the party. Oh, ho, ho. Gathering Bonnet is actually really interesting here. It's plus one fine distance, negative five speed, uh, but it's skill for party heal. So anytime you use an herb, you can actually heal yeah. your entire party, as Ooh. well as a passive skill to gather herbs. Really good. Which randomly uh, triggers, doesn't it? I think it does. After There's combat. also a cave troll axe here that you might be interested in, Rita. It I is like the name. 19 physical damage. Rolls uh rolls five times is has swing and wild swing so wild swing would probably be a bunch more damage a little less accuracy you forgot the most wild important swing. part what does it look like uh okay it looks like a club okay. that someone has haphazardly accident it, it looks like a club that someone hit with an axe to try and split but the axe head came off and accidentally stuck its way into the club and they just rolled with it. Oh, hell yeah, give me that. All right, cool. That's 30, so I can pick that up for you. There's also an ethereal dagger here as well, uh, which I'll pick up for myself, uh, just so that I have something to transition to after my glass rod inevitably breaks. What else have we got here? Cracked flute, cracked flute. Okay, cool. So, 
That, ooh, there's actually another one here that you might consider. It's a one-handed goblin blade. Uh, <laughs> rolls three times on strength, ooh, but it's breakable. It has a passive skill counter attack, though. I don't know what exactly that means, but I like the sound of goblin blade. So is would you like goblin blade or cave troll axe? The cave is troll the axe is actually more expensive. Is the cave troll axe a one hand or a two hand? It's a two hander. Okay. Uh, was the general consensus that it'd be probably wiser to stay as a one hand with a shield, though? Uh, I mean, we don't even have a taunt shield for you yet. That's oh, that's true. <laughs> Give me. I the would. I would err on. I would not buy a breakable item purely because you could just, in the very first combat, <laughs> just end up. You know, like wasting it all. Mm. So I would err on the yeah. side of a two-handed weapon. Yeah, I'll that take, would be my I'll personal take the axe. preference. I really cool. liked the description of it, anyways. Uh, I'll be buying and equipping the gathering bonnet here as well, so that I can randomly find herbs and do party healing because that is like so so big. Um, which now means that someone else can pick up the Fravy's locks for immunity to basically everything. Um. Uh, what have what have you currently got on your head, Rito? Plus two armor, plus one strength, minus two awareness, and stun immunity. What? Stun immunity. I'm, I'm happy if you want to pick that up. Um, but at the same time, I'm also quite happy to wear it. Um, I'm just sort of thinking that if you do eventually get into a position where you are taunting, it might be better on you. But it, probably it doesn't really matter. At this is it just anyway. resistance to like effects, or was there any kind of resistance or armor on it also? Uh. The it's just immunity it is to just effects. resistant to effects. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Curse, burn, shock, freeze, and water immunity. For what it's yeah. worth, those become much more pronounced in the later game and yeah. much more debilitating. I will take it. I will take it. I think that okay. that might be a good idea. All right, it will cool. clash with my outfit, though, for sure. Oh, that is the a, a crime. Or wait, will it be fashion right? police? <laughs> exactly. It is. How much do you guys care about designing your characters in games where you design your character and then promptly cover yourself up with armor like Dark Souls? Extremely. I, exactly. Why does it matter so much? <laughs> it, it matters so much. <laughs> but, but... Because it, it, so it, it especially doesn't matter in Dark Souls because you then hollow. Exactly. <laughs> you exactly. Nothing like... But why? Why is it like the my favorite part of the game? <laughs> why, why do I spend an hour and a half oh. designing a character that I'll basically never see? I don't know. Because it helps you feel ownership of the character. It helps you feel in their shoes. Like when they're fighting the gaping dragon, I feel like I'm fighting the gaping dragon. It makes you feel like Spider-Man. <laughs> I tell you what, I would have really liked that um, four-leaf clover. I think that would have been pretty legit uh i'm pretty sure that you have something in the same slot that is 20 luck i do but there's also a 10 percent gold gold multiplier which would be not not huge but i don't know maybe maybe enough to consider justifying it it would not have been huge and i don't think it was enough to consider it that, that's the reason that i looked at it and i went wait does orbital have something in this slot and then i checked it I the got current, you back, the, bud. Don't worry. The, th the thing that I currently have is Elite Sneak, and I think I already have Elite Sneak, but I'm not <laughs> entirely sure. Question. Yeah. Real quick. The deep uh -huh. pool, what kind... Because there's no way to tell what kind of thing you'll be um, rewarded without going, right? But, like, you, you guys uh, probably know what the deep pool does? Vaguely. I believe that it has the possibility of losing a life, but I think you can find an item in it as well. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 for sure. It's a strength test, isn't it? I think you should give it a crack, um, Rito, if you can. Well, I will. Is there any way to undo the focus you spend on movement? Cause, uh, because I I've never no. found a way. No, there. Uh, as, not as far as I'm aware. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's sure. got a zero. It's sorry, oh. a one percent chance to kill you. Oh, one percent chance to kill me. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, a life. It I thought you death. meant one damage. I wouldn't have been so risky. Okay. A 1% chance of death is fine. I mean, every time you go outside, there's a 1% chance of death. Is it? I don't pretty think sure so. <laughs> pretty sure it's not that high. But... I don't think it's a 1% either. I mean, unless you live in like, I don't know, like a civil war zone. And I, I don't think it would ever really be that high. Unless there unless... was weird stuff going on. 
Unless you were like a an E-list celebrity. Yay! Now you're talking my language. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, it's not E-list celebrity. It's just E-celebrity. <laughs> I, 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 I keep forgetting. I, I never hear anyone refer to celebrities as anything other than A through D and Z. I never, like, unless someone's just making a really out there statement just to be funny, like I would oh. do. It seems like, mm. do do you guys hear anyone try try to rank them past D? I feel like I hear A and B a lot, C sometimes, and then Z more than I hear C. I mean, I hope you're joking because we've literally just defined the scale. <laughs> I, so, I mean, uh, I mean, <laughs> we now have formulated the the scaffolding upon which other people will base their discussions of celebrity from now on. I we've yeah. got this down pat. I hope this is true. <laughs> is it worth it to buy pipes? It is. Uh, or is it? I don't know whether the pipe is the right item or if you go to services and pipe smithing but you definitely want to upgrade your pipe level. okay because i mean it looks like i can take it from a common one to an uncommon which pretty much doubles all the effectiveness of most of the it's pretty yeah. good pretty good pretty good i do it very, very good also if uh if while you're there you want to pick up every single god's beard that's there because when we move into the next act they become much more expensive i purchased all one Excellent. A wise choice. And then I'm still rocking no shirt. Should I... Is it a waste of money to get stuff ah. from these shops, or should we just, like, chant and chance it to hope we'll just find something? Or is this stuff it okay? It is a bit of a waste of money, just because the stuff at the very start of the game is pretty garbage, and, like, when we go into the next area, the stuff you'll get will be multiple times better. What about eight gold for a shield that does have taunt? I mean, I'm about to give you a two-handed oh. weapon. Oh yeah, oh yeah. What's the what's the, sorry? What's the stats on that shield? Just to just to sort of theory craft it a little bit. One armor, one resistant enemy taunt. Okay, it's not that great. No, anyway, I didn't. I didn't think it was that fine. great. I just didn't didn't know if it would be good to have the option. Yeah, I'm leaving. Yeah, that's fair. I'm um, just FYI. Uh, it turns out that uh, I didn't realize, but I have the death certificate. So only I can deliver it to the adventurer's home. So I will do that. Uh, or because I'm closer, you can oh. hand it to me. I can do that. Uh, also, you might want to hand me your God's beard because I can party heal us now. <laughs> you just, you just, I, look. I just I've, take and take and take and take. Take and take and take. And you never give anything back. Never. Boy, I'm getting tired of writing those things. Says to the bug. Here's something for your troubles. Hey, hey, that's really good. That is, that is legit. So it says, um, I really want to get to Parrot as soon as possible, but I um... I'll get to Parrot next turn. Ah, that's sweet. Easy. Easy. Um, okay, how about you go down in that direction, and you've got a teleport scroll, so you can actually come up to where... Uh, Rito and I are. We'll start exploring to the north. This gives me the ability to go to Rito and then drop off item. Okay. Cool. Sweet. Hey, Rito. I've got a club hey. for you. Which is not just me saying that I'm going to harm you. <laughs> Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Okay. You did a great job describing this. I love it. Thank you. I felt like I'd, uh, I'd really gotten on the ball on that one. Uh, here's a here's a here's a question. You mm. see the boat? Can we actually <laughs> yes. move it? No, no, it is a landlocked boat. <laughs> you have, uh, you've ruined the boat. Okay, fair enough. Thankfully, it was only uh, a raft, so we're actually <laughs> it didn't raft. spend too much money on it. Yeah, uh, for our nautical transport. Yeah, yeah. I feel that. Honestly, it would be easier to understand exactly what's going on if we just spoke in French rather than oui. speaking in this garbled anglais. Okay. Uh, uh, maze we, maze we. It's actually not pronounced like that. Just no, is it not? Make you aware. <laughs> uh, 
faded pearls. It's kind of cool, I guess. Faded pearls, resistance, magic damage, and focus. It's a uh, trinket thing. Pretty nice. Mm. No, it's oh. it's a uh, it's a little light. Oh, I have found a U staff, spelt Y E W. Thirteen mm. magic damage. Blast, restore, time jump. What is time jump? Time mean? jump. I've never heard of it. Uh, it's just a time jump to the left and then a step to the <laughs> right. Uh, uh. Anyway, it's also got <laughs> party heal. On your hips. Sorry, it's what? also got it's also got party heal and support range and costs sixty one ducats. I'm afraid you may not have that on you currently no, uh, because I, I took I know, all I of it. <laughs> I know I this don't. keeps happening. I don't know. I, it's just the story of my life. <laughs> uh, there's also a War Axe, 16 physical damage, pretty nice. Apprentice Tome, you'd like this stuff, uh, Rhapsody, I think. Uh, no, my Ethereal Dagger is probably going to be fine. Ethereal Dagger rolls on intelligence. So <laughs> oh, well, and does extra damage to spirits as well, which we will fight a couple spirits in this area. All right. Oh, no. No. <laughs> no. I didn't realize that. Oh, a raft. Stupid. It's not here. No, okay. it's fine. Because we do have to get a bow at so that we can actually <laughs> explore that area as well. Because yeah. we do have the Mind Lord's Crypt down there. And damn, there's like a bunch of hermit crabs in the ocean. That's cool as hell. We're going to get to fight those. Although that's going to have to be in the next episode. Would you like to take us out, Rita? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for watching. Uh, <laughs> I forgot how to how you guys end this. Rapsy, what are you playing on your channel right now? Uh, currently, roguelikes and card games. So, Slay the Spire. No, uh, I guess a little <laughs> no. bit of Enter the Gungeon by the time this comes back out. I thought uh, you were going to say nerd Dungeon, stuff. Cult Simulator, that kind of stuff. Ooh. Orbital, what are you playing? Oh, just a bunch of really exciting, fun strategy games. A bunch of uh, grand strategy games. Just, just the way I like it. You know, really top-notch stuff. Yeah, that's it. I'm sold. I'm going to... Go check out your channels with the links in the descriptions of all of these videos. Oh, great. <laughs> as soon as we take the video out here. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>